Good afternoon, designers, and welcome to episode 17 of Game of Rugs. Today, we were hoping to be able to share an episode I filmed earlier this morning with my best friend, who is also a design home addict, where we were able to successfully record the audio of us, film, of us doing a room together. The video was something of a fail. So we're going to try again later in the week or next weekend. And in the interim, I'm just going to show you the room that we did today. And this is definitely not my normal room, but I loved decorating with Moira. We had a really good time. I really liked the choices that we made together. I feel like this is a room that neither one of us would have designed on our own. And it was just a lot of fun to design it with somebody and to be able to submit a room that was outside of the norm. So I am going to be super looking forward to finding out what the score for this room is. And maybe we will try to record together when we get the score and then do the daily for that day as well. Um, but that is what happened with that. And what else do we have going on? Not that much. I have kind of opted out of a bunch of these deco rooms, although some of them are I am into. I think we looked at the nursery yesterday, and I'm still waiting to submit this all aboard room because I am just in love with that room, and I'm loving doing the deco for it. I It turns out that I am apparently doing this series that I was completely not committed to doing at all. Um, but they only asked for three Lux glass items, and I had those. Uh, and I also had enough other stuff to put in this room to not make it look like complete garbage. I'm still not buying that deco rug. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna it would score better with the deco rug. God, maybe I should buy the deco rug. That black rug is nice. It's 2,250 diamonds. That just seems like a lot of diamonds. I don't know. Or there's this other one, which is only 2,000 diamonds, which somehow suddenly seems like a huge bargain, but it is not. That's a lot of diamonds. I don't know. And does it really look that much better? It does. It really does. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, you know what? <clears throat> I'm not. I'm not going to buy the rugs that I don't like. I'm going to be strong. I'm going to go back to this rug that looks fine. I've managed to put this rug, this room together. I'm pretty happy with it. The color scheme is very uniform. It's all white, but I'm going to submit this and see what happens. So we are at two out of four to earn a series prize that I don't care about. And I actually don't even know what the piece of furniture I just won for entering that was. Great, so I'm really keeping up with the times here. What is this one? A white sofa and two French... Is this the bedroom? No, this is just a regular French room, so I will be spending lots of time on that this week because we know that I love me a nice French room, and I actually really haven't looked at any of the um, stuff from the last 24 hours that's just come up for challenges because I've been obsessed with the technology for this, um, trying to get two people on this channel at the same time. So I have nothing else to offer except that when I was doing the um, room that I did with Moira, some I got new scores, so I already have been through those, but here they are again. This is a 4.17 on a room that I really don't even remember doing. It's how I won that Joybird sofa uh, that I used in, t in today's daily challenge. And certainly that is a very, like in case you're not clear, this is a completely deco sofa and it will come in handy all week. So I don't care that I got a 
really mediocre score in this room. And also every single person in the universe used these chairs. So there was that. And then we had Stylish in Sydney. I have no idea. Like, other people got way better scores on this than I did. They were super inspired by this room as i said before i felt like i was designing an art deco mortuary i just like this room made me suicidal it did not work without the green rug everybody who did well used the green rug or everybody who did well and managed to create a nice room used the green rug that i again did not buy um but i did notice uh, the clock, I really liked that clock. And I don't think it's from this series because you can't buy it. Somebody saved that up and it was the perfect choice. Such a good job this person did. Ramla, well done. I really, really like this room. And uh, there were not a ton of other rooms that one that I liked a lot, but I really liked that one. So... Was that stylish in Sydney? Yeah, okay. And then we did Summer in Missoula. Again, a mediocre score with a mediocre room. I'm bummed to an extent. I mean, it's fine. A 4.33 is fine. I, I'm And I won this, this cool chair that I would never have paid money for, but I really like. And I'm happy to have. And, you know, I love me more French stuff. So it, that'll go in a French room at some point. I'm kind of unclear as to why, for example, this brown room got a five and my brown room didn't. There's a whole row of brown rooms here and another row at the bottom and just a couple of colored rooms like this yellow room and there's another yellow room and there's this blue room that I loathe. That does not mean that it's not a good room. It just means it's not to my personal taste. So I don't know what's going on there. And then there was this seaside view, and I got a five. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm back. I'm cooking with gas, that we are back on a roll. So that is very exciting. Also, everybody loves winning Taylor Burke as prizes because you get those challenges where they're like, put in 19 pieces of Taylor Burke furniture. And you're like, oh my God, this challenge is going to bankrupt me. So it's nice to have this stuff around. I really, I remember, I'm so surprised by the score on this room because I remember really struggling with it. I love this. Um, I love the couch that we got as a prize. I know lots of people didn't like it. I've heard people calling it the ugliest couch in the world, but I really enjoyed it. And there was also that blue chair that I bought to go with it. I keep buying that chair to go with it. Um, and then what I really struggled with was the rugs. I really struggled with the rugs. Um, but I'm so glad that it turned out that I made an okay decision about them. And I'm also pleased that um, my room was slightly different than other people's with the combination of the... Like, it's all light. Um, and I think a lot of people went darker. And I'm pleased with this room. So that is basically what we have. We have today's daily challenge that Moira and I did together. Uh, and I have some nice scores. I mean, mediocre to nice scores that came up today. And I got nothing else to offer. So let's do some voting. So this is Roaming Abroad, which I don't even remember. Oh, I remember this room. This was the one with the ceiling fixture that looked like a rocket. And I think that was supposed to inspire all of us to deco. I don't know. Um, I do not like this room. I don't like rooms without windows. They make me claustrophobic even to look at them. So I guess... You know, the room on the bottom, I really love those lamps. I make use of those lamps whenever I can. I think they're beautiful. But unfortunately, this room has no art. Um, so we're not voting for that. And the room on the top does have art. And the art matches the couch. And, like, it's not a very attractive room. But we're just going to go with that. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. 
we're just going to vote for the room on the bottom because it has a rug. And then we're just never going to talk about this again. Ooh, okay. I love looking at rooms where people really have made an effort. The room at the bottom, the art is very nicely matched with the rug. And uh, there's been a real attempt here to integrate the gray and the blue. And I also like the choice of using this limited edition plant in this room. Like it's not ooh la la deco, it's just a nice plant for this room. Um, and it goes well with also the um, this striped abstract thing from the previous limited edition. So it's a nice room, it's well done. This room is way more decorated. Um, and I mean, I, we're back to this thing of I don't like it as much. Does that mean it's not as good? Like it's, it's not to my taste. I just don't like it. I don't like the room and I don't like the way the room was decorated in the top one. And I'm not, like, mad about the bottom one, but I do prefer it. So, hey, Tina, good job. No rug on the top, but there is a rug on the bottom. And also, I really like this room. It's a very nice choice of ottomans. And this whole thing is well put together. So I'm voting for that on the bottom. And, oh, okay. Okay. I realized that a huge amount of effort and materials and time and designing went into the room on the bottom, but good Lord, do I not like this room. It is just, yeah, yeah, no, I can't, I can't, you guys. And I realize, and the room on the top does have a rug and it has no art, but I'd rather die in the room on the top than live in the room on the bottom. So we're voting for the room on the top. And, and in order to just get a little variety in, I've skipped to another room to do our voting. So let's do one round of this and we'll call it a day. Oh, I really like the room on the top. I think it's because I love that rug a lot. And I also like these, the choice of these chairs, which we don't see a lot in doors. And I also like this end table, which I actually don't think I've ever seen used before. That's really nice. Um, and yeah, I just prefer it to the, I, there's, there's no like, there's nothing wrong with the room on the bottom. I just prefer the room on the top. So good job everybody, but I'm voting for this one. Nicely done, Shelly. And the room on the top has a really nice design scheme. No rug. Rug fail. This room is so nicely mod, well put together. No rug, no vote. Voting for the room on the bottom, even though it's probably not objectively as good. No rug on the top. Oh dear God, what's happened here on the bottom? Okay, no. I mean, the furniture set is fine. Like, the, that choice of rug is iffy. But the art, the art with the floor decor, with the, the seaside basket with the coral. Whoa, mama. No, I cannot. I cannot bring myself to vote for this. I'm voting for them equally and hoping that that just recedes to a distant memory as soon as possible. Um, the room at the top has used all of the prizes that you get for hitting whatever it is, level 20, I think, you get the aquarium, and you get the sailboat art, and you get the aquarium tree, and you get that white and pink rug, and they've put some pink chairs and I have a feeling that this is kind of a dump because I have been waiting myself for the right environment to come up to do a huge dump room with all of that aquarium stuff and use those rugs. But 
Um, it's a good job. And it's probably better than the room on the bottom. So we're going to go with that. Somebody saved up their sunflowers. I don't really like the sunflowers, but that doesn't mean that this is not a good room. And I'm totally voting for this. It's very well put together. Even like the art with the rug and the floor decor with the couches. It's a good choice. It's all good. We're voting for that. And so that is all of the voting that we're going to be doing today. And that's the end of this episode of Game of Rugs. Please subscribe if you'd like to see the next episode. And if you enjoyed this one, hit the thumbs up button. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much.